This is Neil Berman for the Unbutton.com and we are going to have a look at one of the more recent Windows Mobile 6.5 builds to come on XDA Developers website. Um, I'm going to be looking at this on the HTC Touch Pro um, which uh, is sold in the US as the AT&T Fuse, it's also on Sprint. And the first thing we can notice is that the uh, Today's screen is fairly similar to Windows uh, Mobile 6.1, except you can now um, scroll through some of these options uh, in the background with a finger. Um, you can also individually touch um, to select. And uh, what you notice is there's a certain amount of momentum, um, similar in style to the iPhone, um, which actually makes the scrolling a little bit prettier. Um, that carries through to the uh, application screen which used to have the honeycomb background in some of the earlier builds and now you can see that that honeycomb is gone but the actual icons are pretty well spaced so you can hit them pretty quickly and as you can see it's pretty responsive um, as we scroll through the applications again you can see that momentum and slight bounciness which uh, you know gives it that kind of cool scrolling motion and that's pretty nice and uh, I've found most of the applications that I've tried have installed themselves fine on this, similar to 6.1. Um, again, if we try to actually go into an application, so we're now in File Explorer, I'm going to scroll through here, and again, you can kind of see that bounciness if we try it a bit slower. You can see the screen is actually very responsive, um, probably something to do with the uh, Touch Pro's 528 MHz processor. Um, we look at some of the menus here. Again, the menus have been made a little bit bigger. It's very easy to hit the uh, to hit the correct um, item that you want to hit, and uh, it's really been quite a good experience. I've noticed a lot of increase in battery power over 6.1 in the standard AT&T build, and uh, overall, um, it's really performed pretty well. Uh, been pretty happy, and looking forward to seeing some of the actual releases coming out. Um, hopefully later this year with Windows Mobile 6.5 actually loaded on. This is Neil Berman for the on button and that was the latest build of Windows Mobile 6.5 from XDA developers.